social media is around, mm. you find out how big the holiday is. Yeah. Or the weekend yeah. or what have you, right? <laughs> like mm. you have a lot more options to meet your family. So it's easier to get together, I think, and actually celebrate. Yeah. So cool to see on social media how the different cultures celebrate it. Yeah. It's, it's really something like. It was amazing to see all the pictures and messages. Listen to that interview and Let's see do what it. you had to say. Sure. Awesome. And of course, I'm here with the legend herself. How are you today? I'm great. Thank okay. you. Now, everybody wants to know, you grew up watching the show. How did you get involved with the program? With, you mean Sharon Lois and Brown? Yes, yes. Well, we were all singers individually working with music and children and happily doing that. And we were friends and colleagues and yes. decided to make a record together. Yeah. And the response to the record is what really launched the trio career. And eventually we were invited to do the television show, The Elephant Show, yeah. which we did for, I mean, we shot it for five years and it ran for many, many years after that. Right. And then a few years later we did Skinner and Cheek. So our career kind of just rolled along and evolved and changed and brought us many delights. And of course we always toured, which was great. Yeah. But it all started a bit by chance, just, you know, just with the record. Yeah. Now, you guys had a, a sing-along here at Fan Expo not too long ago today, and the images were amazing. Uh, everybody's in the room having fun, reliving their childhood, introducing a new generation to your uh, music and what have you. Can you uh, share how that went and how was that? Well, it was this morning we did this that sing-along, and it was a bit of a surprise because we were expecting a sound system and all of that stuff, and that was not available to us, so we did an acapella. Well, Graham played the guitar, and we didn't we didn't use any any microphones or anything. And the audience is all you know. You invite the audience to sing along, and yeah. they're ready to sing, and they're ready to do the actions. And you know, we're delighted. And the idea, the music is timeless, yes. and so hopefully, one generation after the other will will get turned on to it. Yeah. Now I always like to uh, ask this question. To anybody that I interview, I love nostalgia. Everybody loves nostalgia. Case in point, what's happening here at Fan Expo. Right. Um, what is your favorite moment from back in the day when we didn't have social media and maybe conventions this big? Well, it's always it's always a pleasure. Uh, you know, the, the biggest pleasure comes from looking at the audience when you're on the stage, looking at the audience of families singing and playing and having a good time together. Those, that's the best memory. Absolutely, yeah. Now, is there anything you want to share um, with our audience um, that you guys are working on or that's forthcoming or what have you? Well, we, we are here. One of the things we're doing here is letting people know about our most recent book, which is coming out next week, but the advanced copies are here yeah. at Fan Expo, and it's our peanut butter book. It's the third book of a series. We didn't plan on having three books. We started with Skin and Rink, the book Skin and Rink, and the response has been so amazing that we then moved on to One Elephant and now to Peanut so maybe there'll be more books coming along. We, have, we don't have a particular plan, but it wouldn't surprise me. Absolutely. I think to take a page out of Zachary Levi's book that just got out of his panel, the people want it, and they'll keep coming back for more. So I think you have more work to do in the future for us. Well, fans, I so. hope you're right. Thank yeah. you. We've had a lovely time here. Everybody is happappy and nice. Yeah. It's really interesting. Great. Well, thank you for your time. We thank do appreciate you. it. This is Pleasure. Dave here from